Choose your player. <laughs> Choose your player. <laughs> They're anxiety foxes. So soft. Do you mind clapping? Oh yeah, clap. Oh, that was really loud. I'm so sorry. Not soft sticks at all. Very loud sticks. Do you want to do the intro while I pull up the show? Oh yeah. Hi guys. So we are back on our Who Done It shenanigans. 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 I thought I was gonna hear you say bullshit for the first time in your life. I mean, you know, I we're on our bullshit bullshit as well. So I can't even <laughs> say it right. I, I don't normally, it's not that I have anything against cursing, it's just I don't normally curse, and so just because I don't, and so saying things is, you can tell, I've never cursed. I got a, I got a legitimate comment that was like, watch your language, young lady, on a video one time, and I was like, okay. You're watching YouTube, my guy. But damn, that is brutal. That dude was not fucking around. Having a channel on YouTube where you bitch about movies. This is quite possibly the best reaction I have ever seen to somebody getting fucked up. Yup. You get what you get and you don't pitch a fit. So we're on Whodunit episode 6. This is the one that we were terrified of. Probably why it took us a month to do the next video. Yeah, we'll go with that excuse. Uh, like I'm that. just gonna let the intro let everybody know why we have uh, security blankets. Yeah, and, we have um, comfort animals and we have security blankets. And hot and drinks that hot may drinks. or may not have already been kicked over once today. You know, but you know, you know what? It's, it's the morning. It's okay. Yeah, it's early it's in the morning. Well, it's early, early for, for us. us in the morning. <laughs> and we're just like, eh. And I have been the butler for this cursed estate for only a few weeks now. Oh, it's the first yeah. episode. Hang on, I was waiting. I was, I was like, like, wait, why? this is too much. We know who you are, Giles. Hang on, there we go. Previously on Who Done It. He seems to get happier as the as the episode goes. He does. Go on. He's like the more of his um, guests get murdered, the more he's like, hoo hoo. Now this is the last episode that I remember watching, and I don't know why <laughs> or what happened. In Probably because you were scarred for life, and you were just like your brain was like, no. And last time, we need to solve this riddle, or else we're all dead. Snakes. Yes. Currency. We had a conversation on live about like which snakes are poisonous. So I was like, look, I can't comment because Natasha and I spent forever trying to remember how the rhyme goes, and then we second guessed ourselves. It's like leaves of three, let it be. It's just like, okay, cool. Yeah. I love the cut of them all just like calmly reading like we're an 18th century family. Dana, Sasha. Oh yeah, I remember this. So I feel the need to tell everybody who wasn't here for the last episode. This one deals with the living mannequin. Sasha. They're not, they're not responding. These are supposed to be their dead bodies posed like the, it's not, but that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, the, all I'm gonna do is watch them because I saw her eye, eye, eyes move under her eyelids. I was gonna say, at first I genuinely thought they might be like mannequins of them and I was confused and I was like, oh my God, no. This is so creepy. Oh, oh okay. Hi. <laughs> Child. Oh. I feel like she is always, what is her name? It's freezing. The killer has made the house ice, ice cold. Melina! Um, ice, Melina. Ice, That's I feel like name. Melina is always scared, like genuinely. <gasps> oh God, these people are so creepy. Seriously, what is going on here? Dancing with a maid my, in front of I dead people. My oh my, I do love a dance. <laughs> They're just over I it. When I used to cut a rug with the British debutantes in London, I was a little bit of a lady killer. He said he was a lady the killer. Giles. Speaking of killers. So do you think in this universe Since of the show, victims, Giles just does this every other week? Known, well, yes. He's very used to murder. How many of you would like to visit Dana's? Last known whereabouts, her bedroom. Does it? Well, well there's not many. many of you. I'm still alive, so I still have a chance at that $250,000. But this is the first time that the killer has killed two people. And he was the one that had to discover it. Like, if this wasn't a show, he'd be traumatized for life. They all would be. Ronnie and Cam, let's go to the mall. Yay! Field trip to the morgue! He was so excited when he said, let's go to the morgue. This investigation doesn't have a crime scene, so I'm gonna head off to the morgue to get a two-for-one special. It, I like their the waning morgue. excitement. They're just like special. over this. Okay, guys, now you can move. They're going to the morgue, but the bodies haven't even been moved there yet. Yeah, what's in the morgue? <laughs> what's just, there? They're just standing there and be like, okay, hold on, guys. We do need they need to get there to do prep. a turndown service? <laughs> we or need they, a... like, did they need to, like, put 
mints on the pillows for the dead bodies in the morning. We need an hour prep to move these dead bodies. Yeah. <laughs> Give us I a fe- second, guys. I'd feel bad making that joke if these were actually dead people, but they are in fact not. So they are going to walk their own asses down to the morgue, so I'm not sorry. <laughs> and there's mints down there, so five-star service. Morgue mints. Morgue mints would be a great name for a band. <laughs> Someone needs to compile all of the names of the bands that we have come Someone up did. With. Really? Uh, viewer, Noah Hutchins. Oh, Hi, yeah. Noah. Uh, went through, watched all, there were 175 videos at the time, compiled a list so that I can keep the list going as I go along. And there's been like 25 or 30 of them at this Lord point. Mints. <laughs> if any of these ideas spark to life, your creativity, please tell us because... We live off of this. this we just see a genius in article in 10 years. It's like, yeah, we got the name from this weird YouTuber. No one remembers. <laughs> Mysteriously vanished. <laughs> the first thing I noticed is this rug in the hallway. It has large male shoe prints. I need another male shoe prints. That's, that's very sexist, buddy. Tired, as well as smaller barefoot women's feet. And there also seem to be tire tracks. I'm trying to figure out how fast this cart was going in order to make these tire tracks. I just imagine ah! in the middle of the night. Oh my god. We're five oh minutes god. into this episode. I'm not sorry. Mm, I'm never sorry. I'm always sorry, but I'm never sorry right now. Lipstick. That's weird. I mean, Sasha likes to talk. Maybe the killer wanted to put her mouth to rest. <laughs> okay, god. Lindsay, now I think you're the killer a little bit. A little smaller. It's about size. Gino put his foot on top. It's like exactly the same size. This is a little suspicious. I feel like stepping in exactly the footprints the is probably size. not this good for like preserving suspicious. evidence. There are two sets of tracks. One is darker than the other, which leads me to believe that the person put Sasha on some sort of cart and then wheeled it out. Can you imagine the art person that was like, okay, so guys, we need a rug and we need you just like go full on wheelie on it. Some sort of dolly. Yeah. That would that would would have been like a like a go kart? No, no, it's too small. Like a like a four wheeler? No, that's too tiny. It was three scooters in tandem. <laughs> Don't step in it, careful. Oh jeez. I follow that blood pattern, and it leads me to an elevator. In a house that's two stories. I was gonna say, since when do we have an elevator in this house? As if we live there. When do we have an elevator? I actually do want an elevator. That would be really nice. Like an old fashioned one. Yeah, and I would just go up and down the entire day. They already have crime scene tape up. I used to want to, what are they called, like the dumb waiters because of Eloise in the plaza? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I always wanted a laundry chute because I wanted to go down it to the basement. I'm glad that I didn't because I probably wouldn't have survived this long. Go ahead. It's locked. I mean, what do you. Break it down. Really? I fully believe both of these women could break down a door. Chris pulls out this metal device thing. I don't know what it is. To open door from outside, sl- oh, so, okay. Slide device under and up, behind, left, and pull. So it's to like get the, to unlock it like yours. To, oh, okay, okay, to okay. Pull, But that's just, I like how it has instructions for use. Yes. The, the killer was like, I the killer was like, wait, how do I do this? Okay, yeah, as, and, and then he gets right. it open and then he kills Dana. And then up. Really oh my dark. gosh. Then, is it on, do you think? That's a really cool, very useless little contraption there. They also had to put an extra camera on the inside as they struggled for probably like half an hour trying to figure it out. Bless. Can you imagine? I mean, I would have. If it's just a two wheeled thing, then there's an extra set. So it means it's a tripod. No, it's a trolley, probably. What has three wheels? Did they come in on a creepy tricycle? Yes. The creepy tricycle would not be a good name for it. Well, no, it might be a good name for a bit, depending on the band. Mediocre. No, nothing like Morgmits. Morgmits will kick creepy tricycle's ass. It just looks like Dana got out of bed and walked out her door. These adorable little dresses. I know, I love the I love the investigation outfits. Yes. How the girls are always like, they always make them wear like heels. Big blood spot. There's not a lot of blood. No. Why does Gino never seem upset about I any don't know. of this? He 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 doesn't. I think he, he's broken. He the best way to play the game when it's one team versus another is to plant a little more doubt. Oh my god, they're gonna frame Gino? Alright, so what are we telling our people? I get I mean the wheel marks, huge giant feet. That's a huge foot. Gino sized. Yeah. Oh, just wait. She was very casual about like, yeah. 
let's throw Gino under the bus and just say that he did it. It's fine. Jesus. You're right. Like Gino's side. Gino, let me measure your foot. Nah, it looks big enough. It's fine. All right. I am not at all sad to see Sasha dead. Why are they naked? They, they beat them right. down to the morgue. Oh, she's got she's got a really pretty she's got Somebody hot pink go nails. They're very pretty on her toenails. Candidate. Somebody had to go, and I couldn't think of a better candidate than Sasha. Look, I just want to say Cam was lobbying for Dana to be killed, and then Dana got oh, killed. So. Gosh. Oh boy! Yeah, warning for all of this. I yeah. think everybody who's on episode six knows what they're getting into at this point. But geez, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Are you okay? Yeah. Maybe this is why I stopped watching. <laughs> In Dana's nose, I see a cloth-like fiber. Yeah, I get that. Ew! Ugh. Do you think COVID he woke, testing? Do you think he woke up that morning thinking he was gonna to have to pull out, fish something out of somebody's nostril? Did you, Did you think she would woke up that that morning after being told that she's gonna die to have something fished out of Shoved your nostril? Shoved up her nostril and then, sh yeah. <laughs> oh. I feel bad for everybody in this situation. Oh, I mean it's like COVID testing, but worse because at least COVID testing generally they're pretty decisive about sticking it up in there. The worst is when they flutter it, and I'm like, please don't flutter things in my nose. I've literally they've I've had them jam it so far back yeah. that it made me start involving voluntarily like my like uh -huh. crying like not crying like like yeah. I'm upset but like crying like my eyes are involuntarily yeah. just like running yeah and I'm just like, I'm like well that's that's, that's, interesting. that's the inside of my head thank you very much <laughs> that's my brain <laughs> don't take my brain cells I need the ones that I have left Dana's pant legs show dripping so they were killed and then dressed in fancy dresses so the killer is a pervert as well yeah Gross. Yeah, I don't want to think too much down that road. This probably is the episode, that's why I said. Oh. I like how the last episode was like, oh, this guy got killed on a horse. Is that kooky? Now it's just like, two women have been killed brutally and dressed up in dresses. Like, it's just like this weird... And looks like they may have committed bodily harm to themselves. Let's think about it this way. The killer has complete control over us now. Because obviously, the killer is either in your group or in mine. Unless one of them is the killer. And then this is an yes, L and uh, like Yagami situation. What we need to do is just outright cast him out. And Gino's left to his own devices. Oh, everyone wants to throw Gino under the bus. Everybody, what did Gino do? Like Lindsay, it was Lindsay, but now they're like, it doesn't fit Lindsay's footprints. I need to know what Melina thinks. It'll be quick, though. Sounded like he was gonna kill Melina. She won't feel any pain. I'll make it quick. Chris, can I see you a second? Can I see you one second? I like that after they, like, have to witness this horrible murder, they have a lunch party every day. Yeah, every day. For, like, like HR. He wants to call him out and just isolate him. That's gonna be too much hostility for the rest of the day. Yeah. Let me just feed him the wrong stuff. Ouch. I foresee that team falling apart. And what they do is their business. I'm gonna focus on the strength I have within my own team. We're unified Sasha because we don't think that anybody's a murderer here, here, probably. Maybe. <laughs> Although Cam really was being suspicious back there. I'm telling Gino just about everything that there is in the morgue, except I've moved the wound to a different arm. I've neglected to tell him about the wound in the back, and I'm not gonna mention the white fibers in their nose. Okay, at first I was like, you're just gonna move the wound to the other arm? What's that gonna do? And then he was like, and also I'm not gonna tell him anything else. I was like, oh, okay. In Sasha's room, find a white face cloth. The killer must have smothered both of them. Then why cut them? Those are the fibers. But what if, like, maybe they were just drugged? I'm trying not to get this video taken down. It's not as violent as it sounds when you talk about it, but Jesus. I'm sitting here, very uncomfortable. Should I be taking in what he's saying? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Melina doesn't know any of this shit either. Somebody needs to tell her. She didn't do anything. Poor Melina. Melina is lost right now. I only have a few seconds to draw out what I need to tell Melina. Oh my god. And I gotta make it small enough so that I can pass it to her. In a college rule notebook. Yes. It's like passing notes in class, but like Black Ops edition. What did he wheel in? He wheeled in the cart. The, the face, he's not subtle at all. You don't want to carry two bodies. Is he playing charades? What's happening? Let's be quite clear right now. Gino is not an idiot. He knows when I'm trying to relay information. Yeah, because you're not subtle. Because you're doing this like Looney Tunes bit. He killed them. Made them up, what, what, killed them, what, dressed them, made them what, up. What, 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 what? Ronnie's like shaking this little white piece of paper behind his back at me. She's Wait, like, fine, I'll it. take it. What she has no pockets, where does she put it? De <laughs> yeah, the one pocket that always has. What is this? What? <laughs> Blood on left, back and pajama leg. <laughs> he 
threw it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Look at the smiley face. <laughs> I can't the... handle it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's because it's the back of their heads. They don't have smiley faces on the back of their heads. At least you didn't X out their eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Fabulous. Fibers on nose. This I is, hope she still has this. I would frame this. This is fantastic. This is lovely. Pajamas clean. I am freaking out. Eat it. Oh, wow. Throw it away. I got it. Don't put it back in your bra. <laughs> or put, I mean, that's probably the safest place. Gina would be like, looking through the trash. You said you went to the bathroom. Ooh, he's wearing white today. Giles wants, Giles wants us to go down to the movie theater. They have a movie I theater? I do not want to go. We might get trapped in the movie theater for the next two weeks, for all I know, and have to kill each other to survive. Welcome. I mean, honestly, she has a right to think that at this point. Welcome to Rue Mana Cinema. Please stand behind yourselves. Ew! Oh, no. no! No, 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 no. I hate that. I hate all of that. Is that supposed to be me? I don't want to. Oh, she sounds so genuinely upset. I'm genuinely upset. I'm genuinely upset, too. The hands are all like, ugh. Holy cow. It really is super freaking creepy. And Roddy's just like, wow. Weird. This is too weird. Ugh. My jugular is slashed over here. Is that a good sign? Is that a good sign? I'd say no. It's a general rule. Especially that. Your movie and your opportunity to impress the killer starts now. You think now. this place actually has a movie theater? Do you think they just realized that they wanted this and so they had to take them off location? I don't know. Sorry, I'm ruining the magic. It's like Disney, but not. Either that or this is on location. Or not on location, on stages, I meant to say. I'm, I'm just like bracing myself here. Doppelgangers. What's that? That's no. Kill and I kill till I get down to one. Here's a mind bending clue for the dummy in you. I'm fascinated that they went to the theatrics, no pun intended, of the clue, but then also I'm terrified. Yeah. When I think of double snowman, looks like the number eight, 88. 88 keys. Ronnie. Oh, don't help Ronnie. He's trying to ice you out. Find what's inside. It's your clue to home. They're on the uh, piano keys, the piano keys, 88. For me, it's good Double Gino doesn't realize that we're burning him. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad. No, the piano keys, Melina, Melina, the keys. Scalpel. And I feel like an idiot because as soon as I see the scalpel, I know I should be cutting into the dummy in the theater. Oh God, I don't want to look. Oh, son of a bitch. Was so, like me on Walking Dead. Ready. When I was stabbing with the knife and the knife broke and I turned to the prop guy and I was I like, I'm so sorry. Oh, you were the photo it's double so yeah. for, um... For Gamma. For Gamma. Yeah. Isn't Gamma played by, what's her name? Uh, Thora Birch. Yep. Yeah, and I had to stab. It was, well, I had, I'm we're stabbing, we're stabbing, and I'm supposed to cut my hand. It's called a hand. I'm supposed to cut the hand open, but like they had to put the prosthetics on first because obviously you, I'm not actually cutting my hand open. So they give me this knife that's like made of, I don't know, it's plastic e. It looks real, and I'm supposed to be stabbing this Walker dummy. <laughs> the Walker dummy is like made of stuff that is not stabbable, and I'm supposed to stab in a very specific place, but also hold the knife, but also not get rid of the the prosthetic on my hand. And it's this big old thing. And, I can imagine. But I can't show the prosthetic, you know, because I haven't cut my hand yet. And so I'm stabbing, and I'm supposed to be like very violent. And so like I stab very violently. I miss where I'm supposed to stab, and I chip the the end of the knife, and I'm just like horrified that I broke it. And you're I just like turn to the prop guy, and I'm like I'm so sorry, I broke your prop. Well, and you're stabbing, you're stabbing, and then you start crying almost. Yeah. This prop guy's gonna be like, oh god, he's gonna, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just the knife. I've got twelve more of those. I know, and I'm like I'm so sorry. I know how expensive those are and he's like no that's why we've got multiple ones and i'm like i know but i'm so sorry we've been so scarred in the industry of like don't break the props don't eat the prop well don't ever eat your prop food that's gross um but like don't break the props have, I ever, this. have i ever told the story of when i was an extra and then they gave me water and they said you can drink it and they showed me like a fontis bottle like it's real water drink it so i was drinking it and they're like let me refill it and i it comes back i take a sip of it i'm like that is pool water i look at it there's like grass from the pool i'm like they literally just dumped this back in the pool and went, here you go. 
great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is the appropriate reaction. Oh, we are just so broken in this industry. <laughs> so now, Gino, Melina, and myself are way, way ahead. Why does Chris's dummy look like Hillary Clinton? I don't know. Where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Is there more? Here, you go ahead. Just tell me what it is. Why can't you just tell him instead of showing him? Maybe there's a rule that they can't, like, outright say it. I don't know. That doesn't even make sense. Mmm, please don't. It's not a bit. I'm genuinely just... <laughs> I'm genuinely just freaked out. <laughs> now it just made me think of when... Uh, uh, the office, when Dwight cuts the face off the... The, the CPR dummy. Dana had a wound on her back, so I'm thinking maybe it's in the back. I slice them open, I reach inside, and there's a clue. Oh back. god, and they just leave the bodies littered everywhere? It's in the back. In the back. This is like existential. The clue says, if these walls could talk, they'd implicate me. A cold-blooded killer no one can see. I like that we're not supposed to think that she's being shown this. She's like, I remember it off the top of my head. I just start looking behind shelves. You know what just struck me? Oh, wow. That was, that was stealthy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. You know what just hit me? Imagine if this was a real place with a morgue built in and being the realtor that has to sell it. Walk into a second morgue. It's more like a torture chamber than anything. They really did not give a damn at I this point of the show, did they? They were just like, I don't care. Scar the like viewer. Mix. I see a big black cart thing. Like a mix between a dolly and a bucket. Oh, they use those on set. Oh, we use those. Black we use them on set, and we also used to use them when I worked 13. in nonprofit to haul food around. I see the hunting knife, and I realize Dana did walk out of her room, but she walked out with a knife to her back. The There's blood on the knife, so the knife probably went in her back, back at some point. The men's shoes are stuffed back to good old Lindsay being the killer. Oh god, back to Lindsay. It's like the scarlet She's letter. She's barefoot. <laughs> Is she barefoot? Yeah. Badass. Hmm. Uh, no, Gino, time. please don't. <laughs> He's like, I just embrace the mess. After all, your life depends on it oh god no no don't get closer how are we supposed to live laugh love in these conditions we were right killer drained all their blood we were right they drained it in the morgue but there was a second morgue in the morgue do the dummies mean anything <laughs> oh this is a hard cut to confusion come on you always have an ace up your sleeve Maybe the real ace of the sleeve was the friends we made along the way. Could he have made the incision? It made the incision and re-stitched it right then and there so it wouldn't bleed. The I know that when I watch this footage back to edit it, I'm just gonna be like hunched. I know, just right? Like, I'm afraid. <laughs> I know Ronnie is withholding information from me. He's done it in the past. I'm sure he's doing it now. Poor Gino. I'm just trying to accept the fact that I may be dead. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> Aren't we all? She Melina? is just a mood in oh, general. He he oh, I love Melina. Go talk to Cam. Does he hate me? Oh, he does. He does Chris hate I'm you? Like we'll go. I'm a likable type of guy. Chris. You are likable, Gino. Hey, Cam, Never forget when that. I solved, when I solved the riddle and I gave you two information. Apparently, the information he gave us two days ago came with some sort of conditions that he never mentioned. That's that's life. I was gonna say, that's just how life works. But that doesn't have, but that doesn't have anything to do with me telling you something. I Ronnie is like everybody else's concerned else. father at this point. Yeah. Ronnie's looking around the corner like, do I have to like break up a fight? Do I need to protect my boy? No. Cam's always trying to stab somebody in the back. Cam, yeah. Our deal was that you were not gonna tell Gino anything. You were gonna come over to us and we were gonna- He doesn't die. have enough. So no we're gonna create a, hus a hostile entire day. Would that have kind of railroaded the entire day of game? Yes, yes, it would have. Then what? Tomorrow, I have it. I don't have him anyway. I mean, you know what? I was. I'm gonna stick to my side of the plan. I, I did what I could. I love the traditional reality show: zoom in and zoom out. Oh yeah. I lied to Gino, one of my own team members, and Cam burned me. The mirrors, my though. Theory I know. Is, my theory is still real shaky. Wow, he is snazzy. He is snazzy. He, he is a smart guy. Is he gonna put it together a little bit better than me? 
He's guilt-ridden. Oh, she's snazzy too. Everybody's thinking, if I'm gonna be a dead body in the morning, I better look damn good. So, here's what happened. Going into his monk vibes. I'm terrified because nothing is making sense. Yeah, that's a mood too. You came upstairs in the elevator with your embalming equipment. Embalming equipment is the first album that Morg Mintz puts out. You got her out of bed, and with the knife to her back, you marched her out. I thought she was going to say you murked her, and I was like, wait, no. But you never use the elevator, because you've got secret walls, secret rooms. You can move throughout this house unseen. The killer just doesn't use a secret passageway, and they just, like, walk down in the middle of the night, and they're just, like, getting a snack. They're like, hey, in the all-black garb. You make sure that everyone else finds me standing next to their cold, dead bodies. I don't think anybody thought Gino had literally just got done setting up the bodies. I think they're just trying to ice somebody out. Yeah. Looks like, looks like it's gonna be me and you, Cam. He's like, till the day I, sorry, I just kicked you. He's like, till the day I die, I'm gonna know it's you, Cam. Even if you're innocent, you'll, you'll always be the killer to me, Cam. No one thinks Melina's the killer. Bless. She's too nice. Yeah, she is. So if she is the killer, she's playing a real good game. The tension is palpable. There's two teams that don't really like each other right now. They're a house divided. Yeah, but did, did she have a knife lady. wound in herself? Yeah. It's not, it, you can't, it, I think it's a, it might be something with a scalpel or something. <laughs> right, it's like, shut up. I know that Ronnie is a liar. He has no conscience. Oh, poor Ronnie, he's like guilt-ridden. Seems one person has given an Oscar-worthy performance. You know, people might actually care about the Oscars if this was the Oscars. Best. It's true. And the nominee for Best Picture is Cat. I'm a Somehow. Little <laughs> I'm a little surprised. I solved the riddle. Really so like, how the fuck do you know more than I do, Cam? Did you solve the riddle, Cam? Here's looking at you, kid. I thought he was gonna change it. Here's looking at you, Cam. Them. That's what I thought he was gonna Possible. do. Please sit back and listen closely to my acceptance speech of how the other nominees got snubbed. Okay. The murders of Sasha and Dana were the odds on favorite for best murder. I don't know if it's your best work, killer. Remember the mountain lion? <laughs> that was pretty extra. The first victim of my double feature was Sasha. After I slipped into her room, I covered her mouth with chloroform. Aha! That's what I said! I don't know what that says about me that I saw that coming. I transported her from one room to another. Oh no, poor Sasha. But if shoes are stuffed with tissues, any size is possible. Yeah, liar. Woke up Dana by knife point and made her wheel Sasha's cold body to the elevator. Oh my oh, god! Oh, she wheeled Sasha! That's so much worse! Leaving behind blood drops toward the elevator door. It's so dark! And two sets of footprints. Oh, did anybody pick up on two foot sets of footprints? I don't know if anybody did. I don't Where I surprised. So. Where I surprised Dana also with a washcloth of chloroform. Oh, she had to put her down. That's so awful. It's so that twisted. So genuinely, I mean, I, they, they were probably laughing the entire time, but in this reality, that's terrible. Scalpel in hand, I cut the wrists. Ugh. I'm cutting around this part. I don't think anybody needs to see no, this part. No, nobody needs to see that part. After that's that, gross. I, after that, I redressed them and put them on their marks. Now that's creepy. Everything's creepy. And the winner is. Your killer. Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick. I'm right there with you, Melina. Oh, poor Melina. She's doing breathing exercises. Poor thing. I'm nervous. Oh. I feel bad for Melina's her. Melina's just like, please. Oh, no. Let me get it over with. Do you know? Making her do it last. She's not even, like, happy that that might be, like, good for her. She's just, like, a feeling bad for him. We could have stuck together as a team. And, yeah, maybe two of us would have gotten scared cards, but it would have been done 
the right way. Oh, poor Melina. I want to give her a hug. She's spared. Oh, bless her I'm heart. I'm looking across the table at Melina, and I'm thinking to myself, damn, she has never had a scare card. We're going to have to watch her. Just because no Don't you come for Melina next. I love you, Roddy, but I will fight you. My dear guest, the killer has made it clear that he or she would not like to kill anyone tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, and wait, there's more. And, now, but wait, call now. We grave. get it. No murders for the now, next two nights. At least for now, you've made the grave. In about an hour, you'll all get laid. Wait, what? Oh, what? Please, please. Wait, what? <laughs> Look at her face! Take your minds out of the gutter. Upstairs, you'll find Hawaiian Lays. <laughs> A luau. I can't handle it. <laughs> I love America. Let's get dressed. So nobody's gonna die tonight. Is yes, that what that means? we can believe what Giles just said. We are all scared. What are you talking about? He okay, just but... said that. They don't trust him. They're like, I don't trust Giles for shit. I feel like the needle was in my arm and the governor called and gave me a reprieve. Oh and god, that's relaxed. so dark. It's so terrible. I would, never, I would never wear these clothes under any other circumstance, but I'm just so happy right now. They have happy matching right they all are matching. They don't even get their own colors. Yay. <laughs> See how this get show toes the line between culturally insensitive and appreciative. <laughs> The great room is decorated like an awful tourist trap. <laughs> this house is still the creepiest, most awful house ever. It just now has a theme. Theme night! Umbrella drinks. It smells like Hawaii. Like There's no way it smells like Hawaii. I don't buy that for a second. No. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Melina! Melina, it's just Giles. <laughs> no, poor Melina! Poor Melina! He came dancing down the hall in a lay and she was still scared of him. Do you think behind the scenes he's like giving her a hug, being like, I'm so sorry? I think you all should do a little limbo. Is this what Giles does on his day off? Yes. I think you should. No, 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 no. Okay, I'll do a little limbo. And I need to take my jacket off. Oh, he has to take his jacket off. Is it low? But he's still got the vest! <laughs> it's so bright, the camera can't even catch it. Look, the lay is so bright. Giles is just exuberant. Maybe he did get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your jacket, sir. Don't forget my jacket. Thank you very much, Gino. Tonight, we luau. Oh. I know it. Whoa. Is okay? Who's not okay? Who is it? Gino. Oh, God. Poor Gino. He was so optimistic in his last moments. Next time on Who Done It. Oh. Gino. Oh. Poor Melina. Oh my God, Ronnie. You gotta get your own. I don't think so. Be a man. Find your own beads. Oh my. <laughs> Melina. Be a man. Find your own beads. Is the most <laughs> hilarious thing I think I've ever heard someone say in my life. And she said it with such conviction. Be a man. Find your own beads. I want that on a T-shirt. How is it possible? How? <laughs> I'm not what you guys think. Okay. Are you? Oh, they're gonna find out he's a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. What did he tell them he was? I don't remember. Sad that, sad that our stay is over, but at least I got to spend my last few moments with my fellow Southern Belle. <laughs> That's right, I feel the same way. She doesn't seem like she does, though. God. I feel like I've been through something more so than all the other episodes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> So this was the last one you saw. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was because I do not remember the luau at all. I'm pretty sure maybe I turned it off midway because I, I do not you. remember the luau. I don't at blame. All. I don't blame past tits. <laughs> 2013 sound, Natasha. That made it sound past tits. You made it sound like you are no longer here. You are. Well, you uh, but I'm a changed woman. I'm not the same person I used to be. No, <laughs> not, I feel like not I, anymore. I feel like I have that experience with every single episode of, on this channel. Yeah every single live stream, but this one specifically was like a new... That, yeah, we're, you're gonna have to cut around a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it's fine. We already did the, uh, the Supernatural anime. My cut That's skills true. are That's true, you are did really okay well with that. that because that was, that was weirdly People violent. were asking me after that, at the in the comments, where to go find it. I was like, you can find it here, but please, I, it, it's... 
I cut around so much it violent stuff. If you're sensitive violent. at all, please be careful. Like, yeah, it was just just very... like everybody's mom, Fred. Like, are you okay? Do you need a hug? Need some tea. I've also squeezed the life out of Dwayne the Fox. Yeah, Johnson. I was like, I was like petting this thing the entire time. I'm like, he no. doesn't have a name, I don't think. We need to give that one a name. This one is Dwayne the Fox Johnson. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I know that I'm just gonna, in the footage, I'm just gonna be, like, hunched over and just like, oh god, it's not a bit. It's just actually Pretty terrible. sure I was making a disgusted face most of the time. I looked over at you one point and I was like, that's gonna be a really funny clip to keep in. You just looked, you looked like, you know when you're, like, doing dishes and, like, a little piece of food hits your yeah. hand? That was the look on your face. That was what was being expressed. You were just like, ugh. My expressions are so distracting. I'm so sorry. I love the, I love the expressions. We have a meeting to get to now. We're gonna be, like, emotionally scarred for that meeting. We've got 30 minutes in a, for the drive. Like, you know. Yeah. Listen we'll be to, fine. We'll listen to, like, I don't know, the Pokemon soundtrack or something. <laughs> I wanna be the very best! Just, like, crying through it. <laughs> yes. Pokemon! Pokemon! <laughs> well, let's wrap up this video here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. I didn't do the intro at all this time. Sorry, guys. It's okay. I don't Welcome think I did it right. Welcome back to the channel where we covered nostalgic, obscure, oh, yeah. and otherwise strange content. That's what I was supposed to say. I was Not like, hey, guys, we're watching Who Done It today. Sometimes I just forget to do it. Uh, if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around if we haven't scared you away. Mm. We post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery, and that's Natasha. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because this is technically a YouTube channel, and if you say so, I guess we're emotionally stable, but, like, we don't feel it in our bones. Like, we, we are, but we, we don't feel it I in feel our like hearts. I feel like a house of cards stability, you know? It's like, I, I, we're good if you don't, like, look at me or breathe at yeah, me. Yeah, I'm okay or... right now, but with any change of the winds, this could all come crashing down at any given second. Not responsible. 